Yo, yeah, what it do? What it do? Gully TV. We here. Yup. Um, shout out to everybody who tuned in right now. We in the building with Bronx street ball legend Shane the Dribbling Machine. Why don't you say what's up to everybody? Introduce yourself, man. Just give me a rundown right quick. You know what I mean? No doubt. No doubt. What's good, y'all? Shane the Dribbling Machine. Original and one mixtape. Pioneer. Father. Right. You know, we had that conversation, the top six, the original. How did you end up becoming a, one of the original um, cast members of the And One Mixtape Tour? It, man, it's, it's, it's crazy because I was, when the joint first started, like I spoke to you earlier, I was playing rucker ball and everything, but I was really still, you know what I mean? I was doing me. It was I was getting older. What people don't realize now, right, is, I was older when Ann One started, so I was I was doing me and Maine gave a call and was like, yo, they got this company uh, uh called Ann One, they want us to ball and they giving out uh some sneakers. Yeah. So right away, you know, the the sneaker yeah. part, we was like sneakers, hold on. They and I free words, yeah. that you know, we went out there yeah. and we we played a game out in Jersey. The next thing you know, the uh, and one a tape was out. You know what I mean? This is before I ain't even never, I ain't never seen a skip tape. I ain't see it, so I ain't see that first tape or nothing. You knew main already. You knew main event before and one. Oh yeah, main main my little bro. That's my my little bro. Me and main, me and main go back from the Rucker Park days. Before Rucker Park, I knew main from UD. If you ever heard of UDC in New York. That was like the top youth tournament in New York City. Everybody, Kenny Anderson, Jamal Mashburn, everybody played it. So Maine was like a was a big name up there. Yeah, so I met Maine and we've been kicking it ever since. Okay. Um let's let's fast forward to you now that you know you were part of the traveling organization known as AM One. What was they expecting of you, uh, of you, and what did you feel that you could contribute to that whole movement? Because I know a lot of the guys, you know, you have some guys who were entertainers, you know what I'm saying, did a lot of slick shit with the ball. Then you have some other guys who were actually yeah, I was the other guy. I was the oh. other guy, the real ball. Yeah, I mean, what they, yo, what, what they expected is what, is what we told them. You feel me? Like, like, like this is what we, like, this is... The idea of that was just really like it was just six of us when we first started. It was myself, main event, half man, half amazing, aircraft, and the future, and headache, right? So we just was basically okay. saying, get your get your your five, and we'll bust your ass. We don't care who y'all. Any if you're not in the NBA, we going at you. If you're in the NBA, we going at you. And, and that's how it kind of for us. It was more us. Uh, just really, at that time, everybody from New York just repping New York and just going hitting every city that we go to, letting them know, like, yo, New York, we get it in in New York. Okay. Uh, what was the first team to beat y'all? What city was the first time that y'all lost? Can you remember that? Ooh, I Dang, you see, I, you see, you, no, no, you see the laws, you see the long pause, right? I remember watching it. Me and y'all had defeated for a long time, but one of the majors said Detroit wasn't. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But they, it started. We started losing. Not even lose because we have a lot of loss. But once the NBA, you know, they still have NBA players, and you know, but Cali definitely was official. Cali came. Cali came with some. They came with some shit. Cali was definitely official. It was Cali official. Awesome official. Man. Yeah, yeah, they was official. They niggas was seven foot. They came with real seven footers, and you know what I'm saying. So they, they the Cali was official. Any standout players on the Cali team that you remember? Oh, oh, um, Cali had my man Spin Mass had um, damn, the seven foot kid. They had a they had a young boy who was 15 at the time. He made the league. I think his name was Jeremy something. He went pro. He, were, he, went, he, he, he went pro, too, so. Oh, wow. He went all the way to so the NBA. So they had, 
Yeah, yeah, he was official. Like, his pops was there at the game, and it was like, yo, like, he's going to be the man. And years later, we like, yo, hold on. That's, that's Shorty right there, that half man was killing him. But being that he was young, he was getting his back. So we was like, yo, you know, he all right, you know. We played, we encountered dudes like James White. James White played. We went to Cincinnati, right? The James White was in college, right? The and one was so bubbling, you know. You know he couldn't play because you know he, you know that's and, and you know he played college ball, yeah. so so he, he he wanted to play. We we was, we was like, nah, man, like you in college, don't play. Yo, he seen that crowd. That yo, James White was like, you fuck that. I'm playing, man. I don't give a fuck if I miss twenty games. <laughs> Hey, and, uh, and he and he and he played and missed about he missed mad games. Word, yeah, word. When y'all went through DC. Uh, who, 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 oh not DC. They got. Oh not DC. I'll call you. What happened? No DC. DC is official. D, official. Official. Because we we went through Berry Farms first. You know okay. you can't go nowhere until you go through back. You know, we, we, we went up against the, the Greg Jones, the Kurt Smiths, the Victor Pages, the the uh, Lonnie Harrells, the Gene Smiths. The, we went through a whole, like, that's a whole nother ball game right there. D.C. was really on the, for those that couldn't ball like that, they already knew. This ain't for you, homie. You you sit on the side and entertain. We going, because this is some real, they ain't going for none of that. That was. No tricks, none of that. White chocolate. That is not DC is official. Bomb squad. I mean they I mean tricks, but they could do it too. Greg nickname yeah. was the wi Greg Jones nickname was the wizard. Right. You know what I'm you saying? So, up, Shane. And and up. and Lonnie Harrell Prime, he played with us, but I'm oh, good. Prime was telling he was yeah, you you straight now. Prime objective was telling you what to expect from some of them niggas. Yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody put in the escalate stories, a million escalate stories. But yeah, I mean, I knew already because me being from New York and again, like DC is like we had a, we had many, so I knew that already prior to that. You know, I went out there and we played against them dudes when they had a bunch of pros that I told you before tied up and never end. And they had Moochie Norris, they had everybody. And we had Reggie Freeman, Conrad McCray, God bless the dead. We went out there with a nice little stacked team and it was a, it was a fissure. So now DC, Chicago, you know, on the East Coast, DC, Chicago, Detroit. They get it in. Hey Shane, I don't like the connection. I don't like the yeah. connection. I'm gonna punch you out and punch you back in, man. I want to make sure we getting this shit right. All right. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, The Real Gully TV. I'm uh make sure I'm getting the audio and shit together. It seemed like he was breaking up a little bit. We are gonna talk a little bit basketball with Shane and Dribbling Machine though. Just give me one minute. Connection was a little fucked up. You better? Audio, audio, help me out. You good? It's your phone, bro. Damn. Hopefully we get this thing right. Yeah, I'm good. Clock him out again. I'm good over here. You good? Okay, okay. I thought we was buffering and shit. So, uh... What yeah, I'm good. At what at which point did, did Skip to my loose show up? When did Skip show up? It's me. New spot to see if the connection is better. I'm a I'm gonna go to a new spot to see if the connection. Do that. Oh, Skip, you're breaking up. You might want to go. Yeah, Yo, you can hear me. You might want to move around. They say I hear y'all both. 
I'm going to reconnect. I'm going to reconnect. Um, legends, they don't even or never will play like that again. You're right. It was a lot of bad motherfuckers that came through that and one shit, especially before it turned to total entertainment. When they first came through, they was doing a lot of dynamic shit with the basketball. Y'all make sure y'all uh, following me on YouTube, The Real Gully TV. Subscribe to the channel and hit the uh, hit the like button. Share my shit. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully we'll be able to finish this, finish conducting this little one-on-one -on -one with Shane the Dribbling Machine. Shout out to Youngstown. Don Waylo, you funny. We gonna find out what's what's going on with that song and shit, but we got a lot of big things happening, man, with Gully TV, man. Coming in the next, I don't know, month. Got a lot of special guests, man. We we gonna be past this live situation. You know what I mean? We're gonna have them right here. You good? Yo. Okay. I think we good. With, yeah. At which point did uh, yeah, I'm good. You good? Austin show up. At which point did Skip to my loose show up? Oh, Skip. All right. Skip was there. Skip down because of uh. Ron Aclario, who this, was his high school coach. So Ron Aclario already had a couple of videos of Skip. But I don't know how he got got met up with the and one people or whatever. But he already, already. So Skip, Skip movement, like he set it off. Some of the, the, the games was Skip was playing. I was playing in those games. Main event was playing in those games. You know what I'm saying? So I think somehow they probably watched it. It was like, you know what? I mean, Skip is the man, but who who else could do things like this? Mm. The first tape. And the second tape was supposed to be about Alimo. Right. God bless the dead. But Ali moved up to the event. So, right, this is kind of part, this is main event story. So I'm, I'm giving y'all some of the main event story at the same time. So Ali Mo never okay. shows up on main event is there. They're out in Virginia with Rucker. So and one people was kind of mad. Like, man, Ali Mo ain't showing up. You know what I mean? I was just like main event. Quarter still at the windmill, they start putting the cameras back back up. Like, yo, hold up, who's that? And that's how that's how I propelled to main event. And and then the right. connection went on through that way. And you know, they stepped the main event about <laughs> making a about making a tape. And you know, and main event was smart enough to say, hold on. It's over for me. Then he was like, yo, you know what? I know I got a whole crew of, of guys like this. And he's straight from there. So uh, that was, yeah, a lot of those lobs and shit. And then, it went crazy. It, it, was, was, it, went, it went crazy. Yeah, me and, uh, me and me and me. Me and Maine played on it. This show basketball team together called the Harlem Rockets. You can hear me? Okay. Yeah, the Harlem Rockets. 
I was on Isabel. You can hear me? You hear me? Yeah. You hear me? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see. So yeah, me and May played on this traveling the Harlem Rockets. So this was back then. So they used to, the the owner was anything. Y'all get an extra sixty dollars. So me and May was like, like were? That's what. That's how that the bounce hit, and I ducked, and he jumped over me. That's how that dunk got invented. We just was making up dunk money. So the owner was like, "Yo, you know what? Y'all can't do that because y'all done did twelve trick dunks and one one and one and a half already. Y'all breaking my pockets. So that's how the that's how the dunking and." And all that came on, came up. Wow. If you had to pick five of those guys to play against anybody in the world, who would? Yeah, I'ma try to. Yeah, I'ma. Yeah. So yeah, that's how that joint came about, yo. Yeah. She was. We just was in Maine, and then, and then, and then what's the name? Who? What they say? Shay, your connection, man. Yeah, man. That we trying like a motherfucker, man. Um, if I have to, I reschedule this shit. I'm a little disappointed in how the audios, and sh audio and shit is going, man. We already went through this yesterday. You know, we kind of like pre-rehearsed the situation, the Q and A, and um, it just ain't going right right now. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try that again. I'm on my yes yeah, somebody you can hear me way better? Yeah. I was on my I was on my iPad. Somebody said Shane on that two G. That's some funny <laughs> shit right there. Man, you was fucking the all up, man. We back now. Oh, I sound way better? Yeah, hell yeah. Damn, see, I got to bring this iPad back yeah. then, B. But, all right. Now, this is the thing, right? If you could pick five of those guys to play against, you know, the top teams in the world, who would be the five that you would pick up? Who would you go to war with from the NY squad? squad? Dang it. I need more than five. That's how good they are, yeah. You can get, take, 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 take eight. I, I'm, I'm a, I'm gonna give five, you five, five starters and three bench players. I'm gonna, I gotta go with the general, AO. Okay. Then I gotta go with Bad Santa from Cali. Kenny. Kenny Bruno, yeah, I gotta go with Kenny Bruno Fisher. Play for Georgetown. Shout yes, we, to went the wall. We went the wall. He went the wall. He's a Fisher or Fisher, right? Yeah. And then I gotta go with no disrespect to nobody else. Then I gotta go with my man. See, I got Farm. See, I'm gonna go before. I'm gonna go with either either Farm or Fridge, the uh cir circus who played at Wichita State. Light skin guy. No, dark skin. The circus. He he he. He the one. He wanted. He wanted uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. He, he wanted a contract before the and one before we split up and went to ball for real. So y'all never got to see him because he came with us on a ball for real tour. So okay. y'all ain't really get in him. Then I'm gonna go. That's three. Then I'm gonna go with Maine. Four half man. Five helicopter. Six. You need some guards, man. I got guards. A yo, Kenny Bruna, and what's the name? And what and Fridge. What about Alamo? Oh no! Oh, I'm, I'm going there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Alamo and Prime Objective was my last two. Alamo and Prime. 
Okay. Yeah, that's some scoring power there. And I'm leaving a lot of niggas out that's like eighth wonder who y'all ain't like that played that Georgia Tech. You know what I'm saying? I'm leaving out Baby Shaq from D.C. I'm leaving out. You know, you know what I'm saying? I'm leaving out Silk for Baltimore. It's like a. I, I personally, I would have put a little bit more beef on that squad. I definitely would have included Shaq. See, the reason why I, I like Shaq too, but I need, I need, I need that outside shooting and helicopter can shoot the, shoot the lights out. I like, I like Baby Shaq. I like him, but I got main event. No disrespect. I like that main event. We kind of do the same thing. Um, you know what I mean? Now, Shaq is, Shaq is on a... Shaq, Shaq, Shaq got that Shaq, handle. Shaq, Shaq got a handle. Shaq a score. Shaq, Shaq got that handle. Shaq got that handle. Shaq got that handle. But, again, see, growing up, I I know... I'm not, and it ain't, a, man, it ain't about Shaq, but you said we're going to war, right? Yeah. I'm going, shit. We're going to war. I got to go to war with, with, with war. Shaq is nice, though. I love... Shaq should have... Shaq should have took that and one shit and took it overseas and got some real money. Along with a couple of dudes. They should have used N1 and one and and try to and take that and go play overseas because he was definitely good enough. I got you. I would have took I would have took Shaq and Alamo. Um without question. I probably would have took AO, like you said. You uh you took Kenny Kenny Bruno is like five ten right yeah yeah he's a little undersized all right so but... look I knew look he get, he get, he get busy so I knew you was, I knew you was gonna go there with I knew you was gonna go there but check it out when you do your homework on him it was Baron Davis and then it was Kenny Bruno yeah. When you when you read these I remember the episodes that they had about him, I, 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 they they made him out to be a big deal. They were showing his problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I didn't know him. I'm be, I, and and reason why I'm telling you this because I'm really finding this out now with this Instagram and looking at these articles. And I mean, other people talk about, it, but when I read these articles, I'm putting. I always respect them, but now I'm like, yo, I really respect them, man. When I hear Baron Davis talking about him, like. And I call and ask people, and they were like, "Yo, my man, he was the only one that that was going at Baron Davis, and he was going, and they and they was beating them." I was like, "Okay, all right." Who got the best handles to you? Who uh, did the street ball guys, in your opinion? Woo, woo, woo! Damn, we gotta go with the guard, right? We gotta go with the guard. Absolutely, I would go with BC. Who you like? Over over Sham guard. Man, um, so let me in, in a, let me let me in a, game, in a game situation. Sham God probably would be more dynamic, but uh, Bone Collector really fucked. He he fucked a lot of niggas up. Yeah, you listen when Bone first when Bone first came to New York. You got I told you one time we played in Dykeman. We won the championship. It was me. I'll be right back. Future and Bone Collector was the guards. Okay. All we did was all we did was clear, but I like bone handle. I like see, I see that's what I do. So I don't confuse moves with handles. Okay. All right. Bone, bang, 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 bang. Hezzy free. None of you. The best hezzy freeze in the in the world. Bone collector. Bone collector. The best hezzy free. I'm talking about in the un like the first time I saw that, I was like, yo. I just was telling the story about my man. We told my man I'll be right back. I played in. I was old. I played in a uh, NBA All Star game. My back was fucked up, and we played. And Bone was on the other team. <laughs> yeah. This motherfucker has he freeze me about forty straight. I'm standing. I had to be up. Yo, you know how I'm standing under the rim. Like, all right, let me let me back up some up under the rim. He has he freeze me and still was behind me. I was like, yo, what the fuck is he doing? I'm about to tri- I'm about to trip this motherfucker. He keep doing that. Right. But Booger, Booger was Booger's official. Yeah, Booger was crazy. Official, man. Official. Yo, girl. Official. I'll be right back, handles. Like somebody probably right back. I'll be right back. God damn.
when you was playing in the Rutgers, in the Rutgers, who who was you have to have who was who did you have to defend? Anybody huh. named who was your defense? Well, come on, man! I played against Stephon Marbury. I played against Kareem Reed. Uh. The Michigan guard, David King, Red Autry. Uh, if you want to go old school back then, at Pookie Wilson, Speedy, Master Rob. Come on, all, I came through the fire. I came, I came through the fire, man. The fire, the fire, man. Like it wasn't, it wasn't no joke with this. It was, I, motherfuckers had me coming home doing push-ups after games. Like fuck that, I gotta do push-ups. Like, this motherfucker ain't going to back me down all the game next time I play against him. You know what I'm saying? It was different back then. Right. Cross, somebody you. put crossing guard. Yeah, crossing guard was official. Anybody in the Bronx that was, what about Rod Strickland? Oh, my God. Whole nother level. Whole or, n I, I played with a, a legendary coach named Evie, right? Evie was a coach. She, she, God bless the day. Evie was getting money back in Harlem, back in the days. So she had every player from NBA players, from Raw Strip. And if you, if you was nice, you had to play with Evie. So I, I grew up and I played on the, so I played with Raw Strickland. I played with the, with the Tony Campbells, the Richie Adams, the Gary Springers, like, 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 like she had the Pearl Washingtons and all of them. So, like, if, like, just by me playing with her gave me the opportunity to play with and against because she was, like, she was that, that dude, yeah? Yeah, Burrow. She was from, she was from Harlem. Yeah, Burrow got the best players, in your opinion. Within Brooklyn. Yeah, I mean, Brooklyn because Brooklyn is the biggest. That's, that's, they got the most pros. Brooklyn is the biggest. Yeah. Brooklyn, then I got to go Bronx. Play you played against Junie Sanders. Yeah. Fisher, I took I took Judy I took Junie on the on the road with me to get some money, man. When I started doing the N one stuff, I seen a high jump, and I was like, yo, I didn't even really know him like that. I was like, yo, fam, he gonna call me playing this game. He we played. Junie broke the backboard in the first quarter. <laughs> Jay Z came out perform. And we got paid, and, J and he was looking like, damn, my bad. And I was like, nah, nigga, we got paid early. You did your, nigga, break another one when we play. <laughs> right. right. Now, Junie, yeah, Junie won that that one on one joint. Junie is definitely a, a fish. Definitely a fish. Uh, uh, I think that the social media, I'm, I'm glad that the social media and the internet came into play because. Uh, we wouldn't have got a chance to. We wouldn't have got a chance to get a look at a lot of y'all. I mean, New York City basketball players—they come with their own reputation, but the footage, like we got up close, history, documented history. You know, what I mean, of watching y'all on the internet and shit. It was an experience within itself, and and, and I and I love that shit. Well, yeah, uh, and and it was late though. So imagine if we had Instagram when the air one was going on. We touch, we see, we, we we hit every country. You know what I mean? We, I was blessed to go to every country probably about three times. You know what I'm saying? I've been to the Fiji Island. Niggas, motherfuckers, drink the water. I've been there. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like I've been to Colombia. I've been to Bogota, Mezzalin. You know, we've been there walking around trying to trying to buy a, a cigar. And more and, and motherfuckers trying to sell us a, a, a Kia Coke for two hundred dollars. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like, yeah. the, like we've been, I've been through these, like these experience of, like I told you before, it was a, we was on rock star status. I, I've been in a, I've been in a club and the DJ got us in a DJ booth and they like, yo, the N one is in the building. And no disrespect to my my dudes, but I'm like, yo, fan, yo, that's. Yo, that's the Detroit Pistons. They just won a championship, right? Chauncey seen them in the house. Motherfuckers was like, man, fuck them niggas. I was like, huh? He like, nah, we fuck with y'all. And I was like, damn, like, like, so the love, the like, we, we had a, we had our foot on the NBA neck, bro. Right. Them, yeah. 
what was happening uh, during the time that this N1 shit is getting very, very serious? What was it like going back to New York when y'all had to go back to the city and play them? Oh, no, it was, it was it's crazy because, you know, I, it, was, it was love. You get love, you get love, but it's a hate thing. New York already. New York ain't fuck with us with that. They was mad at us. They was mad at us because they, once that trick shit came into play, motherfuckers was doing illegal moves. They was like, nah, that's not what we do. And they was kind of mad because we co-signed it. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it was, it was, it was love, but it wasn't really love. It was really got to come back, and then we got to come back and play to prove that we still could play again. So. We, so it was, what was going on? I know uh, the uh, the episode. It was real, real intense. Yeah. Did y'all beat them, right? Oh, oh no, yeah, yeah, yeah. We beat them. We beat them. Hey yo, hey yo, did it? We beat them. Hey yo, bust their ass. We beat them. See again, again, like you said, we had the. They didn't. They didn't know how nice. Hey yo, was now. Come on, we got Hey yo, Ali Mo. We ain't gonna lose, man. You know what I'm saying? Baby Shaq, all of them, and, and they can't really. You can't strong arm them because. I'm from New York, so that none of so none of that. You know what I mean? I know every so. So it was just all basketball. It was a good game. They came with their best one time and at Mousy Tournament Trial State. We beat hey yo, hey yo, hit them with the buzzer beater. So who was um who was on the New York squad? The New York squad at at the Hunt Forty Fifth Street Joint Trial State. It was they had Jiggy Josh. A butter Terminator Two, God bless the dead, John, uh, John Strickland. They had um, damn, Mousy called everybody out. Damn, who else they had? Um, man, Reem wasn't there. They had a bomb, like a bomb. Then, then we played them. Now the game was Kingdom game. We ain't play. We let the youngsters. We let, we let Professor Farm play, Escalade play, but the younger play. And this was in Kingdom. Ask me who they had. The motherfuckers had Lance Stevenson. He was he was a he was a a, a junior. Yeah. They had a uh them niggas had Lance Stevenson total package. They came with a like I was telling them like yo listen, I to, like I think we we beat them by one I think. But I would tell them like yo you see young boy, they had about thirty. I said yeah yeah. I was like yeah he only in high school. I never forget. Fessor looked at me like. Oh man, he in high school. I said, yeah, he gonna go to the league. That, he's serious right there. Lance. Yeah, Lance was serious. He was serious, serious, serious. Yeah, I like Lance. I hope. Uh, I, I'm a Laker fan, man. I I wasn't impressed with what I saw yesterday and shit. Um, I think that Lance and Michael Beasley need to get more wrecked. I need. They, I think they need to be more part of the offense. Yeah, I see. I, Lance is good. I I don't know where Beasley head is at. Mentally, you know what I'm saying. I ain't gonna lie, Beasy be looking like he be on that good, good every. Year. You know what I mean? He, he look like he be just floating sometimes. Yeah, I, think, I think he be smoking. I, I, I think believe, I believe, and, and I believe he he can. LeBron got a, a way of bringing out the best. Yeah, if you got, you got to be mentally strong though, because you right. got Le, you got LeBron who like to bark on you, and Rondo barks on you too. He was, he's fucking up the, the, he could hit, man. That nigga was holding the ball too much. See, see, here's the problem. Rondo and LeBron really can't be in a game together because they both, they both, they both directors on the floor. Yeah. Le, LeBron's method is proven though. Yeah, that Rondo would be great to come off the bench and let that young boy get out there and rock with him and let, put ball in there with LeBron. I think Lance should start. That's my opinion. Oh, I said that a while ago. I said Lance, Lance. Yeah, I'm just happy in the NBA and he getting that bread in because he almost. I think he almost. He almost fucked it up, man. Like I'll be watching like Sebastian Telfair, right? You know what I mean? Somebody was in here. I see them talk about Bassett a lot, and I'll be watching them and watching them with these rap videos, and I'll be like, damn, Bass. Like you, like my saying is, how y'all be fucking up the church's money? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yo, again, I'm, again, let's talk about let's talk about my man uh Karen Hines. Yeah, let's talk about Duncan Hines. What did, uh, was you did he play in high school? Or was he just a street ball player? Nah, huh? 
I think he played one year because he was trans. I think he went to Manhattan Center. I know he went right. up to that prep school. Remember, we went up to that prep school, then he came back. But he played Gauchos, and we played Mad Mom. We played celebrity. We played celebrity street boy games since we was, was like he's always been like that dude. You know what I mean? Like a lot of people know him the street, but even before he got the street name. He was like he was that dude, you know what I mean? Because his size and his strength and his heart was unmatched. You know what I'm saying? And then, and then once he started getting money, it was that he actually started falling off because he wasn't balling as much. Yeah. But but when he was on point, he was he was LeBronish. He was he was he was LeBron to us growing up. Like he was really like LeBron. Like he should have made it. Yeah. Damn, he was a he. He should have he should have made it, but you know the product of our environment is different, man. It's different growing up in the struggle, man. It's different. It's different. Like before the L one started, right? Uh, shit, I got, I got. I mean, I said on the day, but shit, I got, I got. They ran up in my crib and tied me up. You know what I'm saying? So I, I know I know what it feel like to be a living hostage and not knowing like this might be this might be it. You know, like they came in my crib, gun blazing, like like wrong had to been the wrong the wrong crib because they, what they was asking for. I'm looking at them like my nigga. I live with my moms. Like you yeah. got the you got the you know they came in. It's funny, but they was like give me. Where the drugs and the money at? So I was like, drugs and money? I just came from a party. I'm like, drugs and money? These niggas got the wrong house. You know what I'm saying? Like, but money put the... It's funny how people react. Your gun. It's a funny story. He put the gun on my head. And they said, yo, don't look at me. Right? They hit me in the head. Don't look at me. I open my hand. Have my eyes like this. Right? Hand, I'm trying to look at their face. Got a mask. They hit me again. Don't look at me. I go, yo, my man, listen. You got the wrong crib, man. I'm going to keep it real. I know some dudes that got money. You should get me up. Let's go get them niggas because you got the wrong. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But but yeah, being that that like I think people saw like that N one. It was good, but I learned you can't be on TV and live in no hood, yo. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it was complications at times. People yeah. people thought y'all was worth a little bit more than y'all really were. They y'all um. It, I realized being with Aaron One that what you see on TV ain't real, and just because you're in, in TV don't mean you got bread. Like I got our first contract was I think six, seven thousand. We yeah. like so when that tape was floating around crazy, volume one and one and two. We only got seven thousand. We ain't getting no bread for that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It took us about three years. To, to start getting, start getting some, start hitting them six figures, and everybody ain't hit that. Right. Did uh, the other professional basketball opportunities arise from playing on hand one? I mean, not with, not with me because I was thirty two years old. I wasn't thinking about that. I was, I, I was saying, damn, I can. My son about to get ready for high school. I can. He don't gotta go to the house, the school in the hood. He can go to a private school. That's all. And once that happened, that's all I was thinking about. Like, damn, I could get my son in private school. That's all I. Was. Everybody else, dudes, I was talking about NBA. Yo, I'm trying to go pro. I was like, man, y'all can, y'all can, y'all can dream on. I'm trying to just, just get this bread and, and and get out the hood. That's all I was thinking about. Did anybody get NBA trials from um from yeah. Anna? Hey, yo had that one workout with Seattle, but if you if they showed that he was working now, but other than that, nah, like, and I don't, I don't know if dudes, dudes, it's easy to say to go to NBA, man, but you gotta, if you gotta, that shit come with, with dedication, hard work, you can't, you gotta work out every day, you gotta get them shots up, you gotta, you know what I mean, and Shit. And if it, for what we was doing on tour, ain't nobody going to leave because our joint was 
sex, rock and roll. We had, it was a rock and roll. I told you what, if, if you gave me th three words, and this is the old air one. We don't like, because this you know, is a new owner, so I want, this ain't got nothing with the new air one, because this is the old air one. But back then, like, we was, we was living like rock stars, man. We was, we was rappers, man, on that tour, man. It was, like, back then, not everybody, but brothers, some brothers were smoking weed. They, just, they could smoke weed throughout the whole tour, like, the whole, the whole tour. They honest, so, the teens that was going crazy hard, dudes used to laugh, honestly, because they used to be like, yo, they going to smoke 50 blunts, and then and then we be in y'all, you know what I'm saying? So, like, it was, it was nothing, you know what I'm saying? Those three... Killing themselves trying to beat y'all on the whole team, huh? Not, not the whole team, but the, the dudes that the dudes that smoke. You feel me? Like we, yeah, we, dudes are smoked out, dude. Right. Somebody said, talk about the fights. We, ain't? somebody said, talk about the fight. You know when they say talk about the fight. You know what they talk about. That it was an issue on one of those um, episodes where Maine and um, Skip the Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cameras that made it look like we was hating. Yeah, it, it made it real. Look, yeah, it made it look like we was hating. It made it look like we was yeah hating a little bit. Go ahead, uh, elaborate you uh, on that. Shame breaking up. Forget the fights. Y'all played a lot in Arizona. You back? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, nah, yeah. It made you look crazy, yo. Uh, somebody said Maine was hating. My man, Grant, come on, man. Stop saying Maine was hating, B. Don't do that, it man. Don't do that, like, man. It didn't seem like he was trying. Maine was a lot bigger than Skip. He's a lot bigger than a lot of niggas on the tour. And he was projected to be like an authority figure, like one of the leaders. Somebody put, nah, man was hating. So the story. Let me give you the story because I'm I was reading the career like, nah. So we playing in the we playing in the game. We don't have nothing. Not, we don't have no issues with Skip. We playing in the game. They got NBA players on their team. We playing. It's a hard game, right? It's getting rough. It's foul and whatever. But it ain't that. It ain't that crazy. Half man goes to the basket. We frustrated because we losing a little bit, right? That plays a part. Half man goes to the basket. Skip, skip chases him down and goes to block his shot. But you know, haymaker swing, right? So it looked like the haymaker swing hard, but he ain't get the ball. He got half head. Half falls on the floor. Half falls on the floor, and and he bleeding. Right? So we more, us thinking like, come on. This how, honestly, we thinking like, we from the, if it was any, this how, if it was anybody else from New York, I, 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 you know what I mean? That's, we cool, but come on, half, like, you ran. So we were already 10, so Maine was like, yo, fuck that, we're going to foul, let's foul like that. Right? This is Maine's story, I'm, right? So, foul like that. So he said, Skip said, words got done, he said, Skip said, so like, so, but like, what, what, nigga, your sister's a bitch, supposedly. So, Maine was like, what? My sister's a bitch? All right, so I'm going to see you then. So, we, okay. whatever. So, he comes to me. He's like, yo, man. Yo, I'm going yeah, to see Skip at I'm going to talk to Skip at the end of the game. Again, that's my little bro, right? Ain't not, I'm going to fuck him up. No fighting. I'm just going to go talk to him again. Call my sister a bitch, son. Like, what they got to do anything? Like, you said we playing ball. All right, cool. Right? So we, the game over. We go right to, we go to the locker room. They got the security, right? So he's like, yo, can I talk to you, bro? So Skip is kind of like, nah. So security, you know what I mean? I, like, he felt, he felt, I guess he fucked with main man. He's like, nah. So for me, I can't talk to you. That's what main kind of wild out. I pick up the chair and threw the chair. But that was great. That was great. That was great publicity, but it ain't it ain't go far. But we got we was kind of mad at Skip like that for for not me. It was other other reasons. People it could have been a false rumor, but then they were saying like Skip was talking about us like to other people and the barbers. Not like by Bob, not me. Just as as brothers as a whole, like dudes couldn't make it, and, and instead of just addressing it, we went. We know what I mean we went on with that because Skip was never really around us like that. 
know what I mean? He was in the league, so he never he never was on a tour like with us every day and all of that. So we we all just stuck together. The whole team stuck with that though. They just showed me and me, but we all we all kind of kind of kind of kind of stuck with that like that. Even Escalade and that and that was his man. Like, like even Escalade was like, yo, Skipper's my man. God bless the dead. Skipper's my man was wrong. But right now, I'm riding with you. Even I know he was lying because they both from Queens. But it was a, it was dope, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Right. Um, I was uh, I was happy that Skip ended up being somewhat a star for a period of time in, um, in the NBA oh, no, when he was playing. I'm a Lakers fan. He he got off against us one time in the playoffs. Oh, he played Lou. Yeah, he played Lou too. You know, let me. You know what's crazy, Gully? Uh, I don't. I think we didn't see Skip in the NBA. We seen Rafa. Okay. We seen right in the NBA. Just we seen Jason Williams and we seen White Chocolate. Okay. We seen Rafa in the NBA. The NBA put a halt. I think they kind of put a leash to him, cause I know on them three and one fast break, Skip passing ability would have been magical. The way he could go behind his back, look away. It was, it was like it was like it was real basic. He had a couple of, but it wasn't the Skip that we knew. Like we know, like I'm looking like, oh my God, ain't that nigga gonna run up on Skip and try to? I thought, like you know, like like AI, they supposed to that knee supposed to be buckling. Like nah, he ain't gonna embarrass me. You know what I'm saying? But he had a great, he had a good, he had a definitely a, a, a crazy good career, man. Yeah, yeah, he did. He, somebody just said he played in the finals. Yeah, he played it. He did play in the finals. Yeah, with, with Jameer did. Nelson. And they, they subbed Jameer Nelson and it took Skip out. But people don't understand the business of why they did that, right? Jameer Nelson in the NBA, even though Skip was playing well, this man getting 20 million. I got to get it. You know what I mean? Like, I, if, if Skip finish it now and they win, he got free money over there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's real political when it when it comes to that NBA. It's tricky because it's, there's no reason why Skip ain't supposed to finish that up. They talking about the time that uh, Skip hit Eddie House in the head. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That was crazy, yo. <laughs> yo, that was, yo, that was the talk of this joint. Like, yeah, my man, damn, not my man, Eddie House, B. Eddie caught fire for a minute there. That, that's, that's, see, that's, see, that's Skip right there. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. Skip right there. Like, that, like, cause, cause the next play down, if this was a street ball, I need it if he'd had like John Lucas, they'd have gave him the ball and tell everybody, go through. Like, yeah. go through, go through and fry his ass, yo. Yeah. But Skip like Skip was Skip was that dude, though. Skip came to the Rucker at a young age, master rock like and took over. Like he was like he put on like like Skip was really that dude in, in, in New York City when it comes to that street boy, you know. Like dudes really like I remember dudes used to be like, yo, the park yo Skip like they the announcer used to be announcing like, yo, we just spoke to Skip, he's getting in the car. The crowd go crazy. Yeah. Crowd go crazy, yo. Yo, Skip just crossed the bridge. They going crazy. Uh-oh, Skip is in the parking lot. It's like he did moves. He even gave, by the time he came in, they riled out, and I ain't going to lie. That first possession, Skip never fell. That first possession always was crazy. And, like, if you watch that the video, even when he came down, bam, 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 and, like, spinned off of Alimo and threw a mean pass, those was the battles, Skip and Alimo battles, right? If you want to talk yeah. about battles, yeah. If that's a fifty fifty battle if you ask people. I love Alamo game. Man. If you ask people right now, Alamo and Skip, it's a fifty fifty street ball. Harlem going everybody in Harlem gonna go with Al. Everybody yeah. in Queen gonna go with Skip. And when they play, they gonna get at each other. Al just was tall, but they gonna get at each other. They gonna get Al gonna get the dunks. That throws him. That's what gets off because Al could dunk. You know what I'm saying? He's he yeah. tall. He gonna do the same shit Skip do, but he can end it with a dunk. Yeah. So uh, what would um, 
what do, do you think had it been a like a NBA D League and these G League opportunities now to some of the guys that you was playing with back? Oh, then? yeah, yeah, yeah. Prom, yeah, prom play, yeah. Ao, Ao won a D League championship, bro. Ao did. Yeah. Oh, I ain't know that. Who did he play for? I forgot which. Um, I'm gonna get the name to you. Yeah, Ao came in, came off the bench, and they was like, yeah. Next, he started. Came. Ao came and, and, and took a spot mid season, word. But but here's the thing. The, see, people don't understand, right? I could have played in the CB. I'm not a CBA, the USBL, right? I could have did that, young. It's like Ao was a G. Would you rather mess with, right? Think uh, the the D League. That's probably giving you fifteen, twenty thousand, or and one when you get ninety. Oh. <laughs> 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 mad, that, mad. Yo, we was it, it's fucked up, but we was laughing at them dudes. Be not not like that, but we was on a whole nother level for popularity. You know what I'm saying? Nobody knew the D League dude. Them dudes can, you know what I'm saying? But they mission was just different. But the popularity contest, you couldn't you couldn't win. Like we had Chris Brown with us, bro. You remember that? We had Chris Brown. Damn. You know what I'm saying? We had we had the halftime. Prime Objective played him in 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 in, in um, the D League too. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Prom was a fish. Prom was official. Prom, he don't get his props he deserve. Yeah. yeah, like he was in Georgetown. Whatever happened, kid. But when you go to DC, they they oh Alani Harrell, they gonna tell you, but. That and one and fifth for prom. When I interviewed Victor Page, he spoke about prom. He spoke about it. And one ain't fit for his game. That's not he him. He was more of a. He was more of a legitimate basketball player. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he gonna he gonna give you straight up basketball mode. Pull up jump ball. He might. He he got a hand on that, but it's he straight to the business. You know what I mean? That's. And 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 one was really if you want to make the cut, you want to make the teeth, the, the tape, right? You got to do some freaky shit. So that's what kind of motherfuckers was motherfuckers wasn't going in the score. They just going on to try to get a move off to make the tape to, to gain yeah. popularity. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's how it kind of was killing. It was killing to you, and nobody could compete with Sauce. Sauce had that shit. Sauce Sauce had motherfuckers coming home during the summer practicing some dumb shit. Had me, cause he had me coming home and say, "Hold on, I'm gonna throw this shit over here and run, do a back flip, and cross my like." He had me trying some <laughs> dumb, some dumb shit, yo, trying to compete with that. Cause I told you, source shit was different when I first encountered source. Before it got too crazy, but the moves was unseen. When was your first time seeing hot sauce? He he came once. Future came, and this was in Chicago. And they was like, yo, this dude's sauce is coming. We just about to go to an open, a crash the court where we just go to a hood and just ball. At this yeah. time, I wasn't even balling. I had on my tens. Man, we was like, we ain't balling. After a while, we was like, let these new niggas ball. Everybody know it. So sauce, we saying sauce, sauce fucking the whole park up. I'm talking about, he got more. I'm saying, who the fuck is this motherfucker right here? Never seen. <laughs> I know I told he did that when he did that boomerang shit and it spent it up and then motherfucker turned around the ball was spinning by the nigga air and just standing yeah. there. I was like, hey, yo, this motherfucker's crazy right here. So like like so he brought out like a like a whole diff different atmosphere to it. You know what I'm saying? Like no it was it was no I never saw nothing like that. Well, to this day, dudes is getting that dudes is getting paid in the league copying some of that shit he was doing. And see, he had what he bought. Right, I'm gonna tell you what he bought that I never heard of. He had names of the shit he was doing. Like we played ball. Like we knew what a crossover was. Right, that's the behind the back crossover between the legs. Right, like this motherfucker used to be like, ah, oh, yeah, I'm a Flintstone him. What the fuck? Is, what you mean by that? You know what I'm saying? Then he, then when he broke it down to me, it made sense. Like he said, Flintstone. You know how Fred Flintstone start the call and he be running fast. He yeah. said, when I throw the ball up and fake this way, I run fast like Fred Flintstone. I said, oh shit. You know what I'm saying? Nigga said, I'm a boomerang, the nigga. You know what I mean? I'm a, 
Like I'm a I'm a Dawes. Like he had names, so he was like Dawes, Flintstone, Boomerang. We was like, oh shit! Like this thing got names with these shits, yo. But then he went crazy with the source two case. And then he started. I ain't gonna lie, my man. He started getting with the the, the legal moves. It started. It kind of. That's what kind of fucked it up when he started picking it up and running with it. And motherfuckers was like, how the fuck are you gonna guard a nigga that's playing uh, football and basketball? Putting it under his shirt and all of that type of shit. Yeah, yeah, that is just if I pick it up and I hold it in my hand and I run with it and don't dribble it, how the how the fuck I'm a I'm a guard? How I'm a guard that? And if you're a real ball player, like like it, it kind of it kind of it kind of fucked it up a little bit. It kind of everybody was, uh, was people executing the sham guy back then. I don't recall seeing no and one people really doing that. It seemed like sham guy. The the album um, actually started to get a little bit popular online anyway after the N one era. Somebody put source fucked up basketball. Why they say that, man? Now yeah, yeah. You know what's crazy? Because basketball is at a fucked up state right now. So who's fucking it up now? And one, they black people blame and one right back then. And I always want to address people to yeah, y'all fuck basketball up. We. Yeah, we fucked basketball up, but them parks was full. Now, and when they been around, the gang is at an all time high. Motherfuckers are smoking K two. The parks is flooded with gang bangers. When we was rocking, the gang bangers say, "Hold on, you know what? I might can make it." You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah but that father, that that Sam God, he had his own move. We had. Stiff leg and other shit like like again they added a piece to the sham guard that that, that sham guard move. I seen do some overseas. Pooh Allen was actually the first person I seen do that. Pooh Allen, yeah, from Philly. Yeah, and then yeah. I I seen uh, Sham was doing it and uh, Tyson Willer. Oh my God, he's he used to do that shit in the, on something crazy. Play for Rhode Island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Matt, remember Matt Mahoney? Yeah, he was nice. Matt Mahoney used to do that. You see Ginobili? Yeah. You see Ginobili do it before? Ginobili was fucking niggas up for years with that shit. You know, you, he was doing that Euro. He was doing a Euro step before a lot of people too. Yo, yo, that sham guard move is dope. I think that's like a European move. I think. All right, that's like a, I think that's like a European move. But Sham, yeah, he, Sham shoot. I I see Sham run niggas. Me and Sham played together in Rucker Park with uh, Tommy Hill figure. I seen Sham run a nigga to the scores the scores table doing that. Word, right. yeah. yeah, yeah. When we played them together in Rucker Park, Sham used to see Sham was famous for two, not that, but what Sham was really famous for two. He could get that rebound. And go full court, full speed between his legs. Wong, 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 wong. Up to about low, look like he's scraping his knuckles on the floor. That's what yeah. that's that's what he was really known for, yo. So the uh, the, the sham guy that we seen in, in, in uh, the NCAA tournament was that a, that a, was that a watered down version? Was he more dynamic in the hood? Now that's about around the same time because he because he got remember the age. Sham was about. Sham was young. That was when he had that shit perfected, right? He was he, that about, and about that time he was he perfected it because he he couldn't wait to catch some. He caught Mike Bibby with that. Yeah, he caught yeah, Mike. He, Bibby, he, he caught Mike. He snatched Mike Bibby. With, yeah, he bust Mike Bibby in a mask, man. They don't give Sham his props, man. Sham, Sham, Sham. No, you know what's crazy? Sham get cut from the NBA, right? Right, but now he's teaching in the NBA. Yeah, that's that's wild. <laughs> I always organization, right? Yeah. So you get cut, but years later, you serve as you teaching. Like that shit is weird. That's some weird shit to me. Like, but with, but it's dope though. It's dope though because he deserved it. He did. I think a lot of. Us street ball players, though they can help a lot of these and one dudes out. You know what I'm saying? I, 
I ain't, I ain't going to blow the, no NBA players up, but my man Farmer says, you know, me and Farm do our training. We got an uh, NBA player. Motherfucker can't dribble for shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I remember my I, my best friend was Eric Mobley. So I was at that draft. With, I was at the, the Glenn Robinson, the Jason Kidd. I was at that. But I, I remember... Working with Glenn Robinson, helping saying, "Yo, fam, like doing." He's like, "Yo, show me that again." You know what I'm saying? Like, so that that's what's missing. That's what makes the NBA exciting because your favorite players grew up watching and one. Yeah. Kyrie yeah. is yeah. and one out. Yeah, uh, shit. Steph Curry, Jamal Crawford, and and they are and one and one out, man. I, I again, I was in Utah. Me and Air up there, we walk in the club in the VIP section. And what's the, uh, the, the point guard? When we broke his neck, too, in college, he was D Brown. It was D Brown and an, the other NBA dude. We, they in the VIP section, man. And we, this dude started going crazy. Like, oh my God, yo, Shane, the dribble machine. Like, I mean, the love that he was getting, I'm saying, yo, nigga, you. Nigga, you in the league. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like, 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 nigga, like, like, relax. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, 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 the love. Like, those guys that, that that's in the league, they, they got there based on fundamentals and shit like that. Like, when somebody sees somebody get fucked up with a street ball move, that shit is entertaining. Because they're scared to take chances. That's all the NBA is. They're scared to take chances. Right. Like if Jason Williams would have been turning the ball over, they had cut him. They Facts. seen these, they they seen that shit and said, "What? You know what? Yo, but like AI, right? Me and AI played together in Rucker, right? AI, right? AI. He's he's that player. I'm not changing my game for you, right? If it's work, like only way, only way he changed your game if it don't work. So if you go hard like that, right? You know what I'm saying? Then you ain't going. The coach got to bite into it, right? John Thompson. John Thompson had Dave Edwards first, right? My homie from Queens, the legend. Yeah, they said that was the first Iverson at Georgetown. And John Thompson let him get away and transfer to go to Texas a and And he said, "I will never make that mistake again." And guess who come along? AI. Right. So, so th he knew that like, I can't. I already made my mistake. I should have kept that. That Dave Edwards, and then Dave Edwards, the homie, you know. Yeah, he was doing that street ball shit, passing behind his back and all that. I was just watching. They got some footage of him on. He, you see how you see how he hit uh, Alonzo Mourning him in the post between the legs behind him behind the back yeah, post yeah. pass. You know what I'm saying? He, that was all him. Morning. Yeah. Dude, that was that was all him, Mitch Richmond. Did they say Mitch Richmond. People don't understand how Air One affected the black community in a positive way. That's a that's a fact. I watched that shit to this day. If uh those episodes came on late night on ESPN and shit, I sit and watch all of them for real. But but we we was humble, Gully. The thing is, well, I think the respect part was if I met if I met you, Gully, like I, yo, I might say, yo, what's up, fam? Yo, you good? Yo, uh. Yeah, I'm trying to go out the night. I ain't trying to go back. Where you live at? You live right here? Yo, you think I can go to your crib and take a shower? You know what I mean? Like, no, 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 nobody on TV doing that. Yeah. You know what I mean? We was going up in dude's crib taking showers because we ain't want to go back to the hotel. Hey. And, dude, and dudes was bugging. Like, like you know, I told you, like, I told you, we was walking in Caprini Green. Like, you know what I mean? We was walking. We, we walked, we walked through the world. We first played in Boston. When it was first kicking off, dude came in. Yo, you in my town, son? Woo woo. Like was beefing. Like like was. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was, the love wasn't real, but you know what I'm saying. But like so, this was early in the beginning. So we we went and brought baseball bats and put them on the bus just before we have no security when we first started. We going in your hood by with no security, cameras up, filming with no security. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? At, after a while, everybody knew who y'all were. Everybody was watching that shit. That shit was like a soap opera, literally. Oh, no, was, my man Farm is on. Shout out to Farmer Farm, said. 
with me. Let me see. It yeah. was me. It was me in a club with Clue. Oh yeah, yeah. You talking about the time we was in in the club with Clue? Yeah. Farm came on the scene immediately. Immediately, he Farm took. He known for taking House of jersey off at the garden. And, and one scene that was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Who that? Immediately, Gully, immediately. Will you uh, place Kenny Anderson on, you know, the total pole as far as New York City point guards? He's a New York City point guard, G-O-D. Facts. He's we That's my pick. That's my guy. He's, he's, but now let's kick it about Kenny. That's my error. Let's nah, kick it up. Man. I wish I would have seen him because he got hurt, but I would have seen him like, I wish, I say the same thing too. I wish I would have seen that Kenny Anderson in the NBA long enough. It was when he played for um, New Jersey when Derek Coleman was there and shit. He 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 was he was doing the Kenny Anderson for a minute. It too, was but what happened is he got that bread, that popper, that that money came, and everything you you everything you do to get there you forget. Not saying he did that, but of course he was drinking and met met Spinnerella and partying. You know what I'm saying? That's what they and. and yeah. Kenny was the shit. Bro. Nah, Kenny, that woo, that behind the back shit with Bob Hurley to this day. I, I see it like that game was yesterday. I, yeah. you know, I watched Kenny play when I played with Gauchos, and I had, I had, and we watched Gauchos when Gauchos was playing. And I played with him one time in Blue Chip, but I, I've been like Kenny was Kenny, Kenny Anderson played with Gauchos and. Nah, Kenny was a whole Chuck was different, man. Chuck is, he up there with tiny archer ball on them other dudes, man, with Nate. You know what I'm saying? He's up, he, he's far up there, far. Dudes hate on him, though, but he's up there, yeah. I gotta go watch that movie, though, you see. I ain't see it yet. Oh, his? I ain't yeah. checked it out yet. Either. I gotta check that joint out. That, I remember uh, that Lethal Weapon 3 era with him and Brian Oliver and Dennis Scott. Oh, I was in Juco. I was in Westchester Community. I was in Westchester Community College. I went there. I was with them. I was I was cheering for them in the NCAA tournament. I was one hundred percent with them niggas till they ran in the UNLV. It's over, yo. Yeah, when I was in yo, when I was in junior college, we practiced at Georgia Tech. Kenny was there, right? This is what's the name was going. We get to, yo, this is a crazy Kenny story. We get there, the niggas is practicing. I'm like, this nigga, this Breaking up. Y'all bear with us. I'm only be here another, you know, like 10 minutes. I'm shit. back. You hear me? Yeah, yeah, somebody called me. Yeah, Kenny wasn't, yo, Kenny wasn't at the practice, right? So, we shoot around mid-practice. This motherfucker has some Jordans I ain't never seen before. Just came out two years later. Came in, gave everybody a pound, no lie, yo. Stopped the practice, gave everybody a pound, took two little soft jimmies, we talked to him about five minutes. He was like, yo, I'm out, man. I got to show you in the car. I'll see y'all later. And bounced. I was like, oh, he that man. We, I was in Atlanta. We said, yo, who's the man here? Dominique Wilkins? They was like, nah, Kenny Anderson. <laughs> Kenny Anderson. This when Dominique, this when Dominique was the human highlight. The, they yeah. told us Kenny Anderson was the man in Atlanta. We, I came home saying, yo, my nigga, Kenny... This nigga's the guard in Atlanta, too. Word. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was a, that was, that was an incredible era of basketball, man. That UNLV shit, that shit. I knew Kenny and them couldn't beat them, but it was, it was just a good game to watch. But yeah. Yeah, UNLV and, was different, man. Got their ass. Yo, them, the Kenny and Chris Jackson matchup was crazy. Oh, no, who got out on that? 
Who got the best of that, Chris? Well, I ain't like that because Kenny and them had that that defensive stopper, so they never really guarded each other. But they both they they both got us. But you know, Chris is different, though. Yeah, you know, Chris, 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 a whole nother college. He's a whole nother animal in college, y'all. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, met him. Yeah, he yeah, he sat out my hotel door for thirty minutes waiting for me to get up to get my autograph, bro. Chris Jackson. Chris Jackson, man. I over, yo, blew my mind. You know, I cursed him out, gully like, yo, fan, don't ever do that. You know who you are? Yeah. Well, <laughs> he was with his son, yo. I ain't gonna lie. It, it, yo, I was like, yo, this is crazy. Yo. I never, like, that was probably one of my highlights of my life. Like, yo, that's Chris Jack. Hold on, fam, yo. I think before I even gave his son, I think his uh, autograph. I asked, hold on, hold on, let me, let me. Can you sign? I need your autograph first before anything. This is all that shit. Word, man. The big three. That that. What Kenny? What's the name? It was Kenny Scott and who else? Taylor. Dennis, Dennis Scott, Kenny Anderson, and Ali. Taylor, Ali Taylor. Guy. It was Taylor. The dude name was Taylor. Okay. But he ain't the Taylor dude ain't go to the league though. He ain't go to the league like that. Like Sky and Kenny did. Right. What happened to Spider? Brian Oliver was his name, bro. It was Dennis Scott, Brian Oliver, and Kenny Anderson. That's who it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all need to make it a series to too much to talk about in one live. There's it's so many. Yeah, we ain't even talk about the prison games. There's so much we could talk about, dude. Right. We ain't even talk about playing in the prison games and and and, and the that was a hundred. That's another level too. Playing in the prison. Um, I was explaining to them that I got a background. I, I got a background of playing in the prison system and shit. And um. People who ain't never been there, they won't really take it serious. They would have to see that shit to understand. You know what I mean? How the 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 level of, of talent you got to have to even get on the court in the prison system and shit. Yeah, man, it's 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 you like planning that like you really plan for your for everything because you representing that that penitentiary at that time too. So it's like you repping your block. You know what I'm saying? I can tell you so. Losing was really like like a, no option with y'all. You know what I'm saying? The, the guys that was in there, and they had some of the toughest, the baddest motherfuckers playing in any prison. That's real talk. I um look like you buffering again. I tell you, call, somebody keep calling. Uh, I said you want to find the baddest. You want to. I can't even hear him. That's, Audio. That's, that's Ken Whit. Audio. He buffering. Um, that was our guest for the night. Shane, the dribbling machine from the N1 mixtape to a legendary uh, Bronx street baller. Put in a lot of work in the street ball game. Played Juco, as you heard. He was also one of the first guys that started actually dancing and performing with the basketball. Um I didn't see that. But, yeah, we was just kicking in by a little bit of basketball. We um, had a little bit of technical difficulties early on. I believe that um, all the buffering would be removed by the time you hit the playback so y'all can watch this whole situation all over again. But, yeah, that was me and Shane um, one-on-one. I played against 50 in the ABA in 2008. He played for the Atlanta Vision. Then he disappeared off the map. 
Yeah, I wonder what happens to a, a street baller after he's done playing. I guess they got to go and do regular jobs and shit like that. But, you know, ball is life and shit. It's a lifestyle for a lot of niggas and shit. Um, look forward to more basketball interviews. This platform about to change. This shit is accelerating. As you can see, I got a new look. Studio getting major. Um, I really wish that interview had one a little bit more fluid technically, but it is what it is and shit. You know what I mean? I'm trying to get my dribble right. Um, follow me on Twitter at Gully TV one, subscribe to the channel, the real Gully TV and hit the bell so you can get the notifications.